guys, this is G1 Devastator back with another show and tell video on the 1996 Beast Wars Mega Class Scorponok. Um, he is molded and designed after a scorpion, obviously. Um, he is also one of the first releases in the Beast Wars line. Um, his body, you can see, is black. Um, he has red legs and red eyes. Um, his uh, claws are gray in color like a gunmetal gray, and um, he does have a stinger up here that is uh, purple faded into red. There's also some red accent colors that do stretch up to his uh, tail. Um, this figure, uh, I'm not too thrilled about the way it looks, especially like the legs, and I'll show you guys. Um, they just remind me of like, you know, the McDonald's toys. Uh, they're just super cheap looking um, and some of the plastic I mean it, when you look at it it just looks you know cheap in my opinion and this is not a uh, cheap figure to own or to buy so I would say that would be one of my disappointments um, with this figure uh, he is very easy to transform so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you guys so we're gonna flip him over right here and um, you can see there is his um, mutant head right there I'm going to, um, oops, that was his cyber bee. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pop open, uh, pop up his legs. They are actually go, um, there's pegs that popped in, pop in there right here that hold them down. So, uh, there are his legs. Then we are going to move this up here where his uh, head is and turn it around. Now, <clears throat> back here, there's a peg where his feet, so that's where his feet were pegged in. There's a middle one there for this peg that's going to um, hold his uh, upper body in place. So I'll go ahead and do that. And peg that in. Bring down his oops we'll bring down his legs like this and take his tail and we'll take his tail and then we will flip it like that uh, so it actually will turn so that's all you do for his tail and um, then here is uh, his legs his feet we're gonna open up those like this um, now in his um, in his claws, he does have hidden weapons. Um, this one did uh, fly off while I was trying to transform. Um, so that closes around um, and makes uh, his makes it like a claw. Okay, so then you would do this lever like this, and the bee, the cyber bee, pops up, and he's out, and he's doing his little drone thing. Other claw, he does have a double barrel, a hidden double barrel missile launcher. So these are his missiles. You would this, you would pop them in like that, and they close up. And then when he opened his claw, uh, that would make it like that shoot out. Um, just the action of opening his claw. Uh, so that is his other weapon. Uh, he does have two heads. So this is his mutant head. Then um, you just kind of pull back this helmet thing on both sides, and he does have his uh, robot head right there. And then his tail has a like a lever mechanism that you can push to make it go forward. Uh, same mechanism as in his uh, beast mode. Um, except for in his beast mode, the tail placement, it ends up hitting him in the head. Um, so I'm not sure what good that is. But um, at least in uh, robot mode, it does, you know, kind of look like it's striking out to actually strike. Uh, his opponent um, but yeah so that is it for uh, this guy um, like I said for what he goes for and what he sells for um, I just wish he didn't they didn't make him look um, didn't make him look so cheap you know and especially his like his claws too I mean it's the plastics real thin and all of that so yeah that is it 
Alright guys, that is it for this video. If you would like to see more videos like this, please show your support and subscribe. If you enjoyed my video today, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, that's it for today and I'll see you guys next time.